In 1998, the mighty waste his head unnoticed in cinemas. The costs of the US production is a secret, but considering the elaborate staging and top class star actors, I would personally guess not less than $10 million. And with box office earnings of just $2.7 million in the US, he was definitely a flop. Nevertheless, he is doing well with critics and audiences and has a steadily growing fan base. Also, the youth book template is used in schools. The movie is based on the brilliant 1993 novel Freak by Rodman Philbrick. It is excitingly written and one of the very rare good youth books, which I highly recommend. I never had a brain until Freak came along and let me borrow his for a while. And that's the truth, the whole truth. The unvanquished truth is how Freak would say it. For a long time it was him who did the talking. Except I had a way of saying things with my fists and my feet even before we became Freak the Mighty, slaying dragons and fools and walking high above the world. In 1997, there was also a continuation from the same author, called Max the Mighty. It plays after the events of part one, it has Max and Warm, short for bookworm, as the main characters. To quote a critic, this compelling novel is destined to become a classic. I can just agree. The whole weird world. My name is Maxwell Kane, and the thing you should know about me is this. Even though I'm a big dude with a face like the moon and ears that stick out like radar scoops. Walking this high road, I wires from an olden time, a curse on this land, when the days fall behind us. When you're in the seventh grade and you look like Godzilla, you're gonna get the looks and you're gonna get the whispers. Max lives isolated from his environment, grown for his age very large, often alone and unwilling to find new friends. It does also not help that his father is imprisoned for murdering his mother and he has to stay with his mother's parents. And even his grandparents are not convinced of Max's character or abilities. Then in the house next door, Kevin moves in, a little genius. What's the matter? Have you seen a robot before? Whose body has stopped growing and who describes himself as freak. He rips Max in his world of myths and legends Go on, read it. surrounding King Arthur, in which the two form a unit, brain and body, that also helps them when they clash with the gangs around. Let's see if we got about five seconds to get messed with you again. It's time for the free The two are now together as Freak the Mighty, with Kevin sitting down on Max's shoulder. Hey, take it outside! <laughs> The night proof is worthy of spies deeds. With Kevin as head and Max as body, they want to fight injustice when they see it. Can't her knave. Since a knight is defined by his doings. I will not poison remain. I will not voiceless and sing. When the shackle can run. And the downtrodden man with his face to the sun. British director Peter Chelson was a fan of the original. For his first US production he could win next to Sharon Stone, other big named stars even in small supporting roles like Gillian Anderson, James Gondolfino, Harry Dean Stanton and Meet Love. The two leads Elton Henson and Kieran Culkin were the best choice for their roles and stole every scene. The Trevor Jones soundtrack with vocals by Sting is one of the best in my collection. He is very melodic and dubs the movie perfectly. 
When I discovered the mighty back then, he had completed his short cinema run unseen and appeared secretly on video. I watched it with my former girlfriend because I knew the topic was about her medieval hobby. The movie immediately entered the famous shortlist, a kind of best of all times compilation. We also got immediately the soundtrack, which back then had to be ordered elaborately from overseas. And we ordered the novel too. The mighty is the real deal in which everything is simply perfect. An incredibly sensitive implementation and mighty faithful to the book. Especially the serious and sometimes eerie atmosphere in important key scenes is dissolved with particular care. Also a perfect cast even in small supporting roles and a spectacular soundtrack that constantly hints to the bigger story with King Arthur. And once again after Gettica and Contact there seemed to be an unspoken law. The better the movie the bigger the flop. Which is just embarrassing. But not for the unsuspecting audiences who have no clue that these movies even exist. And got bombarded instead with a 5000th Titanic trailer or any other soulless bug printer specially developed for the masses. As it is common knowledge, there are just too many brilliant youth book adaptations on this planet. It does not surprise me at all that this movie still, besides a current Japanese, has no Blu-ray release yet. As it seems to be much more important to concentrate every resource to shit out the latest Crapfest in its 10th Ultra Ultimate Super Duper version, now in 3D and 4E, the real, really real vision of the director inflated and padded with waste from the cutting room floor just to puke it the 100th time on the market. I'm sorry, Bill. But I'm leaving, and nothing you say can stop me. Do you hear me? Nothing! <laughs>